Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or whenever you're watching me right now. My name is Jay Luke, the owner and operator of the Passion Is Network. I'm also the host of Talk That Talk. You can get any of our merchandise right here on our YouTube page. Just make sure you go ahead and click on any of those things. Once you get down to your final purchase, you can get 30% off of it. Just type in HBCU Band. Remember, 30% off your final purchase. Just type in HBCU Band. Also, feel free to donate to the channel, $1, $2. It's all good, man. Anything that you have to uh, give to the channel, man, it really helps us out, and that's the best way you can support the channel. Let's get into this, and let's have this conversation, and let's talk. Uh, so first off, before... I really get into it. Listen, after the day, this is going to be done up. We ain't got to worry about that no more. Just letting y'all know. Just letting y'all know. All right. Uh, so let's jump off into this. So yesterday, um, the ESPN Band of the Year scores were given out. They were released, so on and so forth. And I had the conversation about it, man. I appreciate all y'all comments, everything that was said. You know, um, I, I look at them, I read them, so definitely appreciate it. I want to go ahead and talk about the timeline before we get into what's on the screen. So the scores were sent to me. I got the scores, literally got the scores, popped the camera, and I wanted to have the conversation, right? As soon as the video posted, then this was posted. Like right after the video was posted, that was posted. Um, and then, uh, right after that, somebody was like, yo, Luke, go check the page. The scores are on the page on the website. I was like, all right, cool. So I went to go check it. <sighs> Let me break this down. I still am in this. Listen, call me, email me, listen. Email me, yo. Like, really email me. Because I'm about to break this down to you in a way that I processed this and I saw this as soon as it came out. So first things first, let's start with the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is that last year, this did not go over well. There were questions during the judging standpoint of it. And the turnout from the event was the, was the result of multiple questions that were being asked about the particular event as it was, as it was taking place. Right. So first things first, the first thing you should have been doing is there should have been marketing going on way beforehand. Like there should have been anticipation leading up to said event or even leading up to said judging. And I'm not talking about two, three, two, three weeks prior. I'm talking about months months, right? So this particular thing drops. Here's my issue with this. This is a screenshot. Did any, did anybody else but me notice that that was a screenshot? That's that is the problem. Because if you would have started marketing early and to save face and answer the questions of the people, the people that you're looking to be able to invest their time, their energy, their money, their focus onto what you're doing. The first thing you should have done was cover the basis. So your first piece of marketing out the gate on YouTube, Instagram, the ticker talker, all of that stuff was, Hey, yo, welcome everybody. We're going to do this ESPN battle of the bands once again. Now I already know that there was some issues that we had, but we already solved that problem because what we got right here is our first panel of judges. Boom. Plastered them right there on the page. That sh this should have been on website, Instagram page, TikTok. I don't know. Apparently people still got Snapchat. I don't even think that's it. I mean, I guess it's a thing X that should have been the first thing that you let out. This year's judges are, this is a screenshot, which means that technically had this screenshot not come out, it still would not have been public knowledge. That's the problem. You want people to believe and what you're selling. I can't believe in what you're selling 
if you're still not being forthcoming about the product. That that is the problem. I'm not talking about the people on the list. I'm really not. Because that to me isn't the bigger issue. The issue is marketing. How do you want the people to be able to invest in what you are trying to sell? Here's another problem, right? When it comes to the judges scores, right? So you give, you give the breakdown, uh, or the, or I guess the rubrics of how each one was scored. So I'll go to DCI for a second. If I go to DCI, I have to go to the, I have to go to their page to get the recap. That's, that's kind of what the standard is, right? So you'll get their final scores. You know, the, the judges will announce their final scores or whatever. And, and, you know, those final scores are plastered. But if I want to get the recap of what each caption was, I got to go to the website. The problem is you're not in that, uh, that space to be able to do that. Why? Because DCI has been doing it for years. You have a bad taste in the mouth of the culture prior to year two of you doing this, which means that the recap should have also been postered or, or plastered somewhere or not even, not even the recap being plastered, but more of a, a of a definitive way to be able to say, this is how you go look at the recap. Personally, I think that you should have just put it up. Now it shouldn't be an ongoing thing. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a little bit, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice if, if you plan on doing this next year. Put the recap up throughout the year, right? So you put all of your recaps up every time you judge. At the end of the year or during the last judging on the last recap, you make sure that you then say, for next year's judging, if you want to get to the recap, go to here. But this year, because we want to make sure we're transparent. Hello. We wanted to make sure that everybody could see the recap. To, to truly understand how everybody fell in line. You want to get people back into your good graces, right? You want people to believe in the product. It's like, if I go to, if I go to Popeye's, if I go to Popeye's, and there's no slight to Popeye's because that Popeye's New Orleans be hidden. But if I go to Popeye's and I throw up every, every two times or every time I went to Popeye's for a year, the next year, if Popeye's keeps making chicken, I'm not going to feel comfortable going to Popeye's unless they come out and say, Hey, we recognize that people have been getting sick on said product. We have now revamped our product. Come on in and let's try it. Now that gives me an option to be able to make the decision of saying, well, they're looking to, they're, they're trying to do something different. They're publicly saying they're doing something different. Let me, now I can say, let me make the decision on if I want to go and eat that chicken or not. Again, this is, this is a screenshot. And the screenshot has been passed around. So that means that even though the screenshot has been passed around, you haven't had the wherewithal to go ahead and say, all right, the screenshot has been passed around. We ain't did nothing. Let's go ahead and do something. Let's put something out. That's simple. And my final question with all of this is this. Like I see, I see all of these folks on here. These are, these are some, you know, uh, Dow Taylor, Julian White, Lawrence Jackson, Dr. Lee, uh, Dr. Webb. What up, sis? You know, uh, Melvin Miles, James Holden, uh, Gregory Dane, uh, Sean. What up, Sean? And Ray Ransom Coleman, like, you know, I know a lot of these people on this list. I've either had personal interactions with them. I know them personally, or I just know that they, you know, have a history of good director, being a good director, right? Here's my, here's my question. If there's a percussion caption, how many percussion judges are on here? 
right? So I, I, I'll put it in a better way. I'm a band director. For those of you all who do know, didn't know. Been a band director. I, I know how to teach percussion. I understand how to recognize whether something is good, clean, or whatever, right? I can recognize a double stroke. I can recognize uh, 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 paradiddle, flam, flam accent, flam tap, all those. I can recognize that, right? I can tell the difference between the, the two, the different styles, right? I can, I, I start to get, my stuff starts to get a little convoluted when we start talking about gritting. We start talking about cheeses because I can't necessarily play them. I can kind of recognize them, but I can't play them, right? How can I judge a drum line? Versus having a percussion person judge a drum line. Somebody who's been in the action, who's been in the activity, who's actually done it. Anybody, anybody curious about that? But me? And, and I love Sean. No, no, and this is no disrespect to Sean at all. Or, or Miss Ransom Cohen. Right? But if I'm a major at twirler, right? If I, if I twirl batons, or I'll, I'll go even deeper. If if I if I if I am a flag person, I'm getting judged from flag. Now that doesn't mean that Sean doesn't know anything about flag. That doesn't mean that Miss Ransom Coleman doesn't know anything about flag. But being in the action, actually doing it, is completely different than you know learning a few things about it or learning about it. That, to me, those are two different things. And judging that, there should be specific judges for each caption. To me, that makes more sense to be able to actually judge folk in these captions. In my opinion, there should probably be a brass judge and a woodwind judge and then a musicality judge, right? I mean, that's just my opinion. Maybe, maybe I'm off on that part. I don't know. But I just think that there should be judges for each caption. I mean, you're going to judge each caption, right? Might as well get judges for each one. So, I don't know. These are a lot of questions that I have. And, and I, I, I kind of put y'all up on what you should have done. Now, if you want to know what you can do to save face to, to really get this thing going, to get people to truly invest and buy and believe into it. So that way in December 13th, you probably have more than 102 people show up. Email me. Cause I, 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 I know how to, I know how to fix this. I know how to get past where we are right now. I'm just saying, I, and again, this ain't, this ain't me trying to be rude. This ain't me trying to throw no shots. It ain't nothing. I'm just saying, everybody knows it was empty last year. So that wasn't, that, that wasn't a shot. It was real. It, it was empty. Right. But just email me. I'm just saying, but we can't do this. Screenshots, bro. Screenshots. I don't know. I'm always open to the possibility that I'm wrong. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all thoughts was. I'm, am I off? Am I off? Is this not a screenshot? Is Did this come from the website and maybe I just missed it? Or you all tell me, hey, leave it down in the comment section. Leave me your thoughts, man. I've been looking at all your y'all y'all comments and all y'all thoughts, so I appreciate it. Also, remember, go ahead and stop by the store, pick up whatever you want. Remember, 30% off your final purchase, just type in HBCU Band. Again, that's 30% off your final purchase, just type in HBCU Band. Also, please remember that you can always donate to the channel. That's the best way you can support us. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, and I'll holla at y'all later. Peace.